Welcome back. Today we're going to really talk about luxury pens. Um, so I just want to say thank you for giving me so much love um, for the new beginners pen. So I wanted to sort of just walk you through some of the next level pens that I have. And honestly, I'm not a professional reviewer, but I, I really wanted to sort of just share the knowledge that I had and sort of lessons that I learned and regrets that I have after collecting this level of um, pens. I also wanted to do sort of like um, just a download of the backstories of how I accumulated these pens. Um, and uh, here we go. So um, my first ever gold nib pen was um, Pilot Custom 74. And this is a this has a fun story, obviously, because um, I went to the Philly Pen Show and really, really saw this woman have a collection of all purple pens. She must be like really, really, really interested in purple pens. And um, Brian Goulet kept talking about how Custom Seventy Four is his workhorse pen. So I'm not gonna lie. Initially, I regretted buying this pen because. Um, the pen, I, so just like, honestly, I just wish that there was a, uh, a nib between fine and medium. I know there's a fine medium, which I haven't tried. Maybe I should try that. But um, I wish there was a, 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 line, a between um, nib available for pilot custom and heritage line because medium is too thick for me for low trim paper and fine is too fine. But um, I started using Stalogy and Tomoy River paper. And let me just tell you, the medium nibs on those paper is heaven. Um, so let me just finish some of the facts of Custom 74. This is called um, Purple. It's $160. It comes with um, a com converter called Con 70, which is like the, I'm sure you know, it's the, the pumpy thing, not this, the thing. And, and I'm quite happy with it. I'm quite happy with, right now I have um, Alexander Hamilton from Dia Tremendous, And it's definitely one of my favorite pens in Tomo Rover Paper and Stalogy. And also Hobonichi. It writes really well in Hobonichi also. And then, um, so that was my number one gold nib pen that I got. After that, I started nibble, um, dabbling into Pelicans. And I had um, basically got some gift cards for Amazon. So I basically um, bought these beauty. And I fell in love with the look and feel of it. And I'm not sure how much you know of me, but anything birds... I'm sold. I am really, really sold. Um, and honestly, I've had both of my M400s um, inked ever since I've gotten it. This is the first time I've cleaned it out and I, I don't have them inked. So I got this in fine. Um, and then I got this in extra fine from Dan Smith. Uh, I think his name's Dan Smith from the Nip Smith. Um, and uh, he tuned and smoothened it for me, and it's, it works beautifully. So I, I felt like, okay, th these were too small of a pen for me, so then I wanted to um, try M800 because I know Adventure Denali and few other of my pen friends on Instagram had the 800, but honestly, M800 is my regret pen. I genuinely feel it's too heavy for me, and because it's it's extra fine, it just it just it just didn't. I don't know. It's just too fine. I don't know about it. Um, but the nib is the big daddy nib. It's it's gorgeous. Um, it's a beautiful beautiful nib, and I'm glad that I got a blue one in this one because had I gotten the brown one, my husband wouldn't have gotten attracted to this pen. So now Neil predominantly uses this this big daddy, but this is my regret pen. I wish that um, I did not buy that. I am willing to try M600. So let's see if I, I uh, find the courage to try that. But other than 
if I didn't even get M600 or M800, I'm very satisfied with um, M400. I was very, 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 very happy with it. Um, of course, the price point in the M400 is still on the expensive side, right? Um, so let me tell you, uh, for Pelican M400 is about like 320 to 340 or sometimes even $396 for, for these two pens. Um, but I think it's it's worth it. I got this pen on sale from Cult Pen, so that's why it was $305. Um, but yeah, um, so I guess like from cost perspective, I got a better deal on the M800 than the M400. But again, these two pens are my regular pens. I don't get tired with them. You guys know um, I have, or if you don't, I have carpal tunnel syndrome. So having that grip of a pen, it, it's very important for me and it has to be on the lighter side. So I got M740-74 first, then I got um, Pelican, and then I dabbled into uh, the Platinum. So again, remember that lady that I took a calligraphy class with in um, Philly Pen Show? She also had this purple pen, and honestly, I didn't know that this pen was called Platinum 3776 Lavender until I got this pen from Dan, um, from the Nipsmith, and I explored some of the gold nib pens, and I found this beauty. And, I mean, it's a rose gold, and it's lavender. I just couldn't say no to it, and I loved it. Anyways, so I got this pen next and um, I ended up loving it so much I used it. My favorite ink to ink this pen with is um, Bunga Box Lamont, which was introduced to me by Chris Sens. And then I ended up getting both of these. Um, I love the feel and the look of this pen. I love white and gold and um, it writes really well and mostly predominantly this is inked with Noodler's Walnut. Um, so this was um, 176. Um, this one was 200 and this one was 228. So basically after um, after this pen I explored into these platinums and I, I, I just never looked back. And then I caved in. <laughs> I caved in and I ended up getting um, the everyone's big boy horse pen is Pilot's um, 826. And this is medium nib. It's quite large nib in comparison to the number five nib. I think this is number 15 or 20, let me see. Yeah, number 15 nib in comparison to um, Pilot 74. It's, 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 quite, it's quite the big, big size. Um, Yeah, it's it's quite big, but it, it it's so smooth. It writes so well in the Tomoy River paper. I just I just have no regrets. And then the latest edition I got from Amazon again is, um, uh, I think it's called Custom Pilot Pilot Heritage ninety two. And this pen I actually already had in fine nib. And like I mentioned, I, I actually didn't like the fine nib. It was too scratchy for me. So I ended up getting medium and I, I don't regret it. So honestly, um, the reason why there is a pi price, such a huge price difference in, in um, Pilot Custom 74 to Heritage 92 is because of the fill mechanism. Um, the Heritage um, is basically piston fill. Um, but from the nib perspective, they're the, they're the same exact nib. And again, I don't mind um, the two pens with different nibs because the the way it feels in my pen, I mean, the way it feels in my hand is is very, very different um, on both. And honestly, I blame Drew from Goulet Pens because he's like, well, if you're going to get custom 74, might as well just get custom 220 because you get more bank for your money. And I, I agree. Like, but you have to get the... You have to have like one ink that you absolutely love and you just have to keep inking it. But I absolutely, absolutely love both of these pens to write in Stalogy and Tamoy River paper. 
would not go would not go back um so yeah that's it those are my luxury pens i will insert some of the writing samples um and i will also sort of talk about um what are some of my favorite inks um that go into it so ultimately this is my luxury pen collection um the only regret i have is m800 um, I don't think I regret any other pens. Of course, I regret it initially with the Custom 74, but once I started using um, the Hipponoto notebook and Stalogy, this pen has been has been fantastic to write with. Um, I do regret getting all of these pens, the Platinum um, line, all in medium. I wish I had gotten one in broad, um, so that way I had some variety, but it is what it is. I'm a I'm a woman of comfort. I also buy <laughs> when I buy clothes for myself, I buy, you know, same exact outfit in different colors because it's just like that I have that comfort level with it. So I think that translates into my pens and I, I do need to sort of be mindful that I need to sort of have different nib sizes because different inks um have different sort of like connection to the nib sizes. So yeah, but I usually um, ink the A23 with Diamine Rustic Brown. This is um, Deatramentis Sherlock Holmes, Deatramentis Alexander Hamilton, Bungabox Lamont, which I don't have a bottle of, so if anyone knows how to get that bottle, please let me know. I would love to get a bottle of um, that because I ran out of samples. This one I love, H in, um, Diamond's Ancient Copper in it. It's my favorite ink and pen matchup. Mueller's Walnut goes beautifully in this pen. Robert Oster Khaki or Robert Oster Avocado. Be both go really beautifully well with it. Robert Oster um, Motor Oil or Robert Oster Golden Brown with Pelican M400. And this is my regret pen. <laughs> But um, the inks that I have tried in here is Irosojuku Pilot Kanpeki, uh, KWZ, Robert Oster Blue Denim. Those are the inks that I have tried in this pen and it, it works just fine. So yeah, I hope that you liked my um, collection and I will do some of more in-depth videos doing the Pilot, the Platinum, and then the Pelicans and share some thoughts of mine and share some writing samples with you. I hope you have a great day. Bye.